It is. Hey, that's better. <laughs> turn the right switches and turn the right knobs and you get the right results. Hey there, everybody. Good morning. My name's Tom Rigsby, your host for today's installment of seven minutes in the morning. Actually, I'm your host for just about every installment of seven minutes in the morning, but this one especially. So we'll just uh, stick in there with and go with that. How was your weekend? I hope that it was awesome. Uh, whether you are watching live or watching on the replay, I'd love it if you'd drop me a comment in there and say hi, just like Joe has done already, just to let me know that you're here. If you happen to be listening either uh, on iTunes, Stitcher, or whatever your favorite podcast catcher is, you can catch the show live every morning, 7 o'clock Central Time here in the U.S. Just go to TomRigsby.com slash Facebook. That gets you to the right place, and you can watch the show comment be part of the action that's going on here and even if you're listening now and the show's already over head over there anyway tomrigsby.com slash facebook and uh, drop a comment let me know that you're here all right so this morning i was inspired by my coffee cup as i am many mornings but this morning let's get the light to shine on it there if you want different results So I titled this morning's episode 2 plus 2 equals, uh, 2 plus 2 is always 4. Hey, Rich. Hey, Abby. Good morning to both of you. 2 plus 2 is always 4, just the same way that if you keep doing the same things you've always done, you're going to keep getting the results you've always gotten. If you want different results, and here's that's one side of the coffee mug. If you want different results, then the other side says you have to do things differently. We can't keep doing things the the same way and expect different results. That's the textbook definition of insanity, right? Let's keep doing the same thing the same way and expect different results every time. Hey, Keith, good morning. But, and and we can rationally sit here and have this conversation and you can think, yeah, that's, that's right. I agree with that. But now I want you to think about what are you frustrated with? Right. What what have you been trying to build? What have you been trying to create, produce that you're just not quite there yet? Right. Things have not worked out exactly the way you wanted them to. You just can't seem to get over the hump. I'm going to ask you, is that because you keep doing things the same way? And this is especially tough for us when we've had some measure of success already. Right. Because. Here's a little bit of a visual for you, but you know, we, we work really hard and we get up to this level of success and it just seems like we keep bumping our head into that glass ceiling almost. We can't really figure out how to break through that and get beyond that. But, but doing what I'm doing is what got me here. So I'm, I must be doing the right thing. I just need to do it, you know, harder, faster, longer. What, you know, more of the same. But the reality is that more of the same will produce the same. Maybe you're reaching an upper limit because you've captured all the market you're going to capture. Maybe you are producing as much as you can produce doing things the way that you're doing them. You've captured as much of that market as you're going to get marketing the way you're marketing. We talked about uh, on Friday, I think, talked about fish where the fish are, right? I mean, you may have saturated that market and gotten all you're going to get. So spending more on advertising in the same market is not going to adjust your result. So what you have to do is adjust what you're doing instead of doing the same thing, pivot a little bit so you can get past that, that ceiling, that, uh, that limit that you have created for yourself. So, that's why I say it's especially challenging for those who have already had some measure of success because you think, well, this is what got me here. I just need to keep doing it, right? We need to constantly be reevaluating what we're doing. Are we doing the things that are going to get us to success? However you define success, but that comes back to this idea that you have to know what that success is. You have to be able to define it. You have to know at least, you know, which direction you're headed. And then you make these fine adjustments along the way. That's, that's, there's no shame in that. I mean, lots of people will, 
will object to making these kinds of changes because, well, that's not my, that's not in my plan. Well, change your plan. It's your plan. Change it. You didn't have to carve it into granite, did you? Well, maybe you did. And if you did, get a new piece of granite. <laughs> Don't hold so fast. Don't be so dogmatic to the plan that you can't adjust to reach your success. Think about driving, right? I use this example a lot. When you're driving down the road, you have to make these thousands of tiny little adjustments. Otherwise, you wind up in a ditch somewhere. Well, it's the same with your journey towards success. You know generally the direction that you're going to go, maybe even some of the big turns that you need to make, but these thousands of tiny little adjustments, changing lanes, going around stalled cars, taking a detour when, you know, there's an accident. All those things happen. Don't, don't get, don't get, don't, don't be holding on so tightly to the plan that I have to go this way that it prevents you from getting where you're trying to go. All right. So two plus two always equals four. And if you keep doing the same things you've been doing, you're always going to get the results you're getting right now. That's it. That's the message for today. I hope that's been helpful. If you know somebody else who could benefit from joining in our conversations, I would appreciate it tremendously. And so would they. If you will uh, like and share this video with your network, maybe even put it in their timeline or send it to them in Messenger, just so they can uh, be sure to get it. If you are out on one of the podcast catchers, uh, I appreciate you being here also. Come over to Facebook. Join the conversation with us every morning. It's tomrigsby.com slash Facebook. And that's it. I think that's it for today. You guys have a fantastic Monday. I'll be back again tomorrow with another brand new installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. You guys, take care.